You're watching Telecom TV's exclusive video coverage of the NGMN industry event here in Frankfurt. And joining me now is Christian Hoyman, Principal Researcher at Ericsson's Eurolabs. Christian, thanks for talking to Telecom TV. Ericsson has announced here at this event collaboration with King's College London and also the Technical University of Dresden on 5G. Can you tell me more about these collaborations? We announced to, to enter a research collaboration with both of the chairs that you mentioned, or both universities, the King's College in London and the Technical University in Dresden. Um, in, in London we have Professor Michel Dola uh, we are collaborating with. Um, he is setting up um, a 5G research community in London and, and we have announced to be part of it. So we are sponsoring that and be part of the research collaboration. And the same is in, um, in Technical University of Dresden. They have set up this framework of the 5G Lab Germany. Uh, Professor Fettweiss, um, Professor Fitzek and, and others are, are creating also a, a team looking at 5G. And we are also sponsoring that. We are taking part of, um, in that research collaboration and, and we are part of that now. Why does Ericsson feel it's important to collaborate with academia? Yeah, I would say it's twofold. I mean, first of all, we want to have access to the academia, academia research. So, I mean, we have excellent researchers uh, in-house, but of course there are uh, research outside that we want to, to collaborate with. Uh, and another area why we do this is um, we would like to have a forum as well to talk to the users of the, of the system that we are designing. So we are, we are designing the 5G system that is at least the vision is to transform the society, to transform the, the industry. And the users of these systems, like the production sites, uh, the automotive industry, those we need to interact with. And these research collaborations with the universities is, is a good forum. Because they are the BMWs, um, the, the robotic um, manufacturers, they can enter that space as well. And we, we come up with a joint uh, research in, in, in those areas. Are these exclusive collaborations or will you partner with more universities? No, I think we are doing research collaborations with other universities as well. I think we have established collaborations with the Swedish universities, of course, our home turf, so to say. I think we're collaborating with U.S. universities. Um, so, so we are, I think, looking at where the, where the hot spots are, where, they, where the hot topics being being researched on. Um, and then the collaborations, I think they are, they are not really exclusive. As I said, I think we want other stakeholders of that 5G um, to enter there as well and, and to have a joint collaboration. This is very important for us. And how will Ericsson benefit from these two collaborations? Yeah, I think the benefit would be a, a 5G system that is successful, that is successful in transforming the society and transforming the industry. So the research areas we are looking at in this research collaboration is the machine type communication. So how can the 5G system be used in production side? How can we steer robots? Um, that is one area we're looking at. The other area is media delivery. So traditional broadcasting of video that was um, how it was done like years ago is, is now turned over in a more on-demand way of, of uh, doing videos. And then we also need a new way of delivering those, um, those videos over mobile or cellular systems. And this is the other area that we are looking in. So modern or new ways of media delivery. And if the 5G then in the end is a successful or a capable system of, of um, being used in these two use cases, I think that will be the success for, for us. Christian, thank you very much. Thank you.